Hi everybody, Father Bill Holtzinger here, and this is my annual unboxing of the Paschal Candle. Uh, today I have also my trusty dog down over here. My dog is named Snickers, he's a schnoodle, so he's going to be quality control in the opening of the box. We'll see. Now this is a, an Easter candle, and it's named Merciful Lamb, and it's three inches by four feet tall. And I'm not sure I can pronounce this, but I think it's pronounced Eximus. You can see the pronunciation there written out, but I don't know if I'm getting it right. Anyhow, so this comes from the Cathedral Candle Company in Syracuse, New York. They always do a great job, so I'm kind of excited to see what's here. And so I'm going to get a straight edge, and we're going to open it up here. Try it is very carefully. Let's see here, you know? Let's see. Some serious packing, that's good. This is all very new. This is not the kind of packing we're used to seeing. I'm used to seeing uh, that foam that kind of expands when you pour it in a box. So that's different. And here we go, here's the candle. Interesting, very different. Wow, it's an adventure. There is the candle. What an amazing way to pack. Well, okay, cool. So it looks like it's all in one piece, which is something we're always curious about because you know, you never know what happens in shipping. But over here, let's go over here. This is uh, the container for what is what they call it? We call the nails, basically. So I think I don't need a knife for that, but I'm just gonna um, do it here. Kind of excited to see what this is gonna look like when it gets all unwrapped. Here we go. So this, those are the nails that we're gonna put in the candle during the Easter vigil. Now, I'm gonna turn a book around here. I have the right for the Easter vigil that involves this. If you look over here, this is called the Lucinarium. This is what this is on the vigil of Easter Saturday. So down on the page below here, we use those nails and we put them, all five of them, into the candle and we say, that, whoops, sorry, we say this, by his holy, and then we put the first one in there, and the glorious wounds, the second one in the center, may Christ the Lord, third one, guard us, that'd be the fourth one, and protect us, amen. And so that's the ritual that uses these here, and there are five of them. These are big, this is gonna be nice. Sometimes they're tiny and it's really hard. So it's wax uh, that is, uh, let's say, encompassing a nail inside. So it's around that. But then we use this candle to do this ritual here. So let's go ahead and take a look at it first. Slowly undo this. What do you think, huh? I think this is a better way to go. I don't know if this is more green or if it's a, oh, look at that, let's see here. If it's biodegradable or not, I don't know. It's a new way of packaging the candles, for sure. There we go. Very gentle. Back to my straight edge here. Wow, isn't that beautiful? So from the bottom up here, what a beautiful decoration. This is um, a softer wax. By the way, this candle is made out of 51% beeswax, I believe. Uh, and then we have this image, which is kind of the whole theme, the Lamb of God. So we know that in John chapter 1, verse 29 and 36, we hear John the Baptist speaking about, well, he sees Jesus for the first time as an adult, and he says, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. And we say that at Mass. Later again, he says it again, this is the Lamb of God. So we have this in a very bright white, the Lamb of God. And then we have what's traditionally in 
candles, the Easter candles, the Paschal candles, is a cross of some kind with the numbers for the year and an alpha and omega. What do we do with those? So I'm going to draw your attention now to the ritual book again. Let's see if I can do that well. There we go. So here's the ritual book. So we then take a look at the instructions. It has the numbers, what to do, and there's the image itself. So let's move over to the candle itself. And it says, for the first thing I need to do, it says, I need to say, Christ yesterday and today. And that is then the um, drawing, if there was, to be a vertical line in here. The beginning and the end, another vertical line, if we were to actually carve it. It's already put in there. It's already inlaid. So that's I'll be tracing over that. The alpha, there's the alpha. And the omega, then I point that to the omega. All time belongs to him. So now I start to mention and I touch the date, the numbers and the date. So all time belongs to him and all of the ages to him be glory and power through every age and forever. Amen. And at this point, then, as we saw earlier, and we've now taken care of this, now we take these nails and we put them in the cross and they will go right here so if you take a look at the cross one will go at the top here one will go in the center and then two sides and the top for the five wounds of christ the one that's the top symbolizes his crown of thorns and the two sides of course are the nails in his hands and then the nails in his feet so there it is, and of course it's a beautiful uh, overlay here on the top as well. Let's get this out of the way. And there we go. This is gonna get a sense of size for the candle. Pretty awesome. Once again, Cathedral Candle Company wows me. It's amazing. It's, by the way, it's while well, the, the candles are probably dipped into a container to, or filled in the container, to get this special size, they had to create a special one for this so that the cross could be inlaid here as well as here for these side bands. But then they're all put on by hand. So these that means that there's no two candles are exactly the same. Even though the basics are the same, they are inlaid differently depending on who's doing it and how it's laid in there. So it's pretty awesome. So there's some personal touches to that. This The banding and all these other things are also wax but they are um, a much softer wax that allows them to be able to form them onto the candle itself. So that's what we're using. We'll have this for the year. Thank you, Cathedral Candle Company, and of course, the people of Holy Trinity Parish. We're looking forward to our Easter vigil coming up soon. Father Bill Holtzinger, have a great day. Bye-bye.